Bienvenidos Muses, I'm Monica Style Muse and it's officially 2016. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. Now, this video is going to be focused on how to contour like a pro. I want to share with you some of my personal tips and tricks on how to kind of define your face and not make it look too dramatic for an everyday basis. Let's get into it. Vamos a comenzar. We're gonna start off with the Milk of Magnesia. I use this technique if I ever start getting really oily skin and I put this, as you can see, on my T-zone. You're gonna let this sit down and it's gonna dry. A lot of girls ask, how does this kind of mix in with your concealer? Really easily. It just uses it as a base for your makeup. It's such an amazing product. I don't recommend it all the time, but it really does work wonders. Next, I'm taking a concealer. This is my Cover FX NX Deep Concealer and it's in shade N100. And I'm just going to blend all this out. And as you can see with the soft brush, the Milk of Magnesia will just disappear. I love the amount of coverage that the concealer has. It's absolutely amazing. I'm taking my Lancome foundation, which is absolutely one of my favorite foundations, and it just gives me a radiant glow. And I'm just using a little bit. As you can see, I didn't use a lot. And I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Next for concealer, I'm taking my Clinique Concealer and this has pretty much been my go-to concealer for my day-to-day -day basis. It gives me the perfect highlight under my eyes and it's not too dramatic. I like to focus on my T-zone because I feel that when my T-zone is highlighted, I look awake. Next, I left my concealer under my eye for a little bit. I like to kind of let it warm up a bit. And then I take my damp beauty blender to mix it all in. Now, to give your face a little bit of definition, I'm taking my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in shade Espresso, and I'm just going to warm up my face a bit with a soft brush. Definitely always reach for a soft brush. This way, everything blends and it looks effortless. Now, of course, for me, I always wanna use a, a translucent powder under my eye. This doesn't have to be for you on an everyday basis, but if you're going out, this definitely makes your contour sit a lot better. This is my banana powder from Ben Nye, and I like to put this under my contour as well. I look like a tiger. I'm just gonna contour my nose a little bit. You don't have, you can skip this step. I also skip this step, but just for the sake of this contour video, why not? So we just let that bake a little bit. Let's dust that off. Next, I'm taking my Cover Effects um, press fout press powder foundation and this is in shade N100. This is going to kind of decrease all the creasing and any dark lines just so everything looks even. Especially my forehead. Look at the pasado ahí. Alrighty, alrighty. I'm gonna sit this contour in with my Black Radiance um, foundation, no, pressed powder in shade Rich Mahogany. It's been one of my favorites, seriously. It's so cheap and it just does it justice. I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows just a little bit more. This video is definitely dedicated just to the contour, but I just wanna kinda fix them things a little bit here. Now let's gonna, if you wanna do this, you can highlight. I'm taking my Becca highlighter and this is called Topaz. We're gonna do a little bit on the nariz, on the nose, and on your lips. I'm also gonna use a little bit of a, a shimmery eyeshadow in the inner corner of my eye. I'm also getting kind of like this silver rose blush on my cheekbones, and I'm just gonna use my ColourPop lip stain in shade Kapow. 
Of course, I'm lining it with chestnut. I feel like this lip has been my go-to. I have so many of these lip colors, of this one lip color, it's crazy. Okay, muses, so ya terminamos. This is how you can contour like a pro. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know down below if this video was helpful. Now, I'm gonna talk to you via camera. I'll see you in a few. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the final look on how to contour. I think contouring is super important nowadays because you can pretty much alter your face to your liking. So if you do want to get snatched cheekbones, you can do so. If you just want to highlight your cheekbones, you can do so. So there's so many great things about makeup now that I feel that it's it's pretty amazing, but it's also, again, amazing and important to also love yourself without makeup. I, I'm such a huge advocate for women just being themselves, whether it is that you love to beat your face or whether you don't like to wear makeup, but don't shade either or, but just want to just be yourself. I love you, muses, and you make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Adios!